simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager (FRM). Part one of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management, and the theories that underlie their use. Measure of financial risk. Welcome to the fifty-first lecture on the measures of financial risk. We are now coming closer to the end of the course. You have already learned many tools and concepts that are applied in risk management. This session and the next one will briefly summarize the various measures of financial risk and operational risk. We will begin with financial risk in this session. Most of the concepts, like VAR and mean variance framework, have already been covered in depth in previous sessions, and hence we will only briefly review them. Agenda. The main agenda of our discussion will be the three measures of financial risk, that is, value at risk, expected shortfall, and spectral measures. We will also compare them and see how they satisfy the coherence condition for measuring risk. This concept of coherence is completely new to our studies, and is a very important condition for measuring financial risk. The four properties of coherence that we will cover in this session are monotonicity, positive homogeneity, translation invariance, and subadditivity. Let us begin our session by first reviewing the mean variance framework and VAR. Review: Mean variance framework (VAR). In our session on efficient frontiers. We concluded that the investors are risk averse, that is, they hold portfolios that have the lowest variance for the same return. Thus, they hold only efficient portfolios lying on the efficient frontier. The position of the portfolio along the efficient frontier depends on the risk appetite for the investor. That is, a higher return expectation would result in a higher risk. So we can take variance as a basic measure of risk. That is, higher variance portfolio is more risky. We have also discussed another very important tool to measure risk, that is, value at risk. VAR is the maximum value of the portfolio that can be lost at a given probability confidence. That is, if the VAR of a portfolio at 95% confidence is $10,000, then we can be 95% confident. That the portfolio cannot lose more than 